हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हियर विद माय वीकली प्रिडिक्शंस एंड एनालिसिस फॉर गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर लास्ट वीक वी हैड टोल्ड दैट फॉर गोल्ड यू कैन रिमेन लॉन्ग टिल द टाइम इट रिमेन्स अब एटीन हंड्रेड एंड द टारगेट इज एटीन थर्टी सिक्स एंड एटीन फोर्टी सेवन इट प्रिसाइजली अचीव दिस एंड फॉर सिल्वर इट वॉज अ वेरी गुड बुलिश ब्रेकआउट वेयर वी हैड ऑलरेडी रिकमेंडेड दैट वंस इट ट्रेड्स अबाउ ट्वेंटी थ्री फोर्टी द नेक्स्ट टारगेट इज ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर सिक्सटी इट प्रिसाइजली अचीव बोथ द टारगेट्स आई होप यू ऑल प्रॉफिटेड now let's have a look what is going to happen next week with we are going to analyze with the help of candlestick charts and indicators don't forget to like share subscribe and comment don't forget to press the bell icon at the end of every analysis i am going to give you the trading levels and definitely my daily analysis which i share uh, very early in the morning as per india time and it includes not only gold and silver but also us 30 us 100 germany 40 uk 100 nifty bank nifty and crude oil and natural gas as well so daily uh, you are getting couple of videos one specifically for us indices also which i release before us cash session for us 30 that is dow jones and nasdaq 100 and one very early in the morning with the global markets forecasts so do watch those video definitely it helps you in deciding the trading direction for the day now let's start the analysis first start with gold and gold close the week at 1835 now look at this this is the monthly chart why i am coming to the monthly chart because this is the last week for the month and we are going to start a next fresh candle next week so this week is going to be of important where it is going to close this month let's have a look so see a uh, gold has formed a tail it is it is yet to create a body but how far this could go now you can see on the long term uh, channel there is a trend line which is well connected if you connect the highs there you can see this channel and it is trying to trade in this channel itself since long now so the top of this channel now is at the top of this channel is somewhere here at around 1867 levels and once 1867 is taken you can definitely expect it to fly we can expect a further bullish move towards 1878 and then 1900 levels also can be seen but it has to whether the question is whether it can reach this channel if it is really bullish if we have to consider this as bullish reversal and gold is trying to enter into a buy zone for the next month definitely it will try to close beyond 1867 is what it appears however uh, now this is on the monthly charts let's have a look at the weekly charts now on the weekly charts you can see after this big drop this is the second consecutive green candle the low right now at around 1815 levels once 1815 is taken 1810 is taken rather you can expect it to trade bearish and it can drop further and further now look at this this is the channel in which it is trading the high for this week is uh, at around 1855 and the low at 1815 now 1855 once it takes away 1855 uh, we can expect that probably we might see 1863 and 1867 levels beyond that it might achieve it, uh, as i said in the weekly monthly charts that probably beyond 1867 definitely it will it should be considered as as a bullish breakout and it can head towards 1878 1891 and 1900 levels also but on the weekly chart it might remain beyond or below 1855 to 1815 zone it might trade in between at the same time uh, the next target which it could achieve is somewhere here as we have said so 1865 here also it appears 1865 67 can be seen but at the same time one more observation here is the size of the body is reducing here you can see almost 1790 to 1820 30 points and this week almost 1822 1835 but the tail and the uh, wick is more and leaving out this wick it also indicates that probably we might see a third bullish candle definitely which will try to take it towards 18 uh, 55 levels and in fact 1863 1867 can also be seen so this is on the uh weekly charts any break below 1815 should be considered as a bearish move now look at the daily charts on the daily charts see uh after this retracement after this drop retracement consolidation with minor retracement breakout candle now the last candle is a red candle and also you can see 
that it is trying to form a trying to form a flag now for the next week any time you see it breaking 1843 you can definitely go long there and you can expect 1853 1855 then 1863 and 1867 can also be seen in the forthcoming candles also uh, the low if it continues because see it has traded in red probably one more red candle can appear which might take it towards 1820 and from there again it will try to fly off again towards 1855 and 1867 levels so a probable drop a low can be seen at around 18 you can connect this dot 1830 is the support level and then 1820 and 1815 level will come into picture however between 1830 and 1840 43 we should try to refrain a bit till the time it remains above 1830 definitely we will see 1855 1867 levels now let's have a look at the indicators what does the indicators are indicating now on the indicators on the daily charts you can see this cluster out there i am not going to explain you in detail about this but yes this zone between 1800 to 1820 is something which will definitely provide a stronger support for gold for any further break so it if you see it coming in this zone again between 1818 to 1795 definitely that should be considered as a no trade zone for the week for the day for the month and in fact below that only we can expect it to drop considerably now this zone at 1818 1815 definitely to provide a very strong support uh, 20 50 100 moving average lying out there the channels lying out there also the exponential and simple moving average and the volume weighted moving average is also around those levels now on the top side it is trading at the topmost of the bot, uh, bollinger bands trying to restrain a bit but if it breaks 1843 one can remain long the support should also come into picture at 1830 and that is why i said 1830 1829 should provide a very strong support now let's have a look on the the trended price oscillating in, is in a definite buy zone the directional movement probably now this is an additional indicator which i am trying to show case to you here it is you can see it is very much in a buy zone the divergence is there but they are trying to converge probably till the time it remains in a buy zone till the time they don't cross over we can expect it, the gold to remain bullish one can remain bullish on gold and look at the stochastic the keltner uh, kdj you can see here trying to enter into overbought position still a gap is there between the red and black and probably it might enter into an overbought position and then this crossover can happen and we can see a little retracement afterwards but yes uh, this is what we can see now look at uh, the macd lines are divergent here and are in a buy zone on the daily charts and also uh, rsi is quite comfortable out there so considering this let me jump to the levels directly now considering this for the week i will recommend you to take a long entry at 1843.5 beyond 1843.5 you can expect it to head towards 1848 now in fact this can happen on the very first trading day that is on monday you can expect gold can probably give you a breakout if it breaks beyond 1843 we can expect it to head till towards this zone at 1867 Remember friends this 1867 is of prime importance once it breaks 1867 our target is high towards 1878 1890 and 1903 anything is possible these are markets in it can trade it can break out it can trade either ways but a possible breakout which i expect is till towards 1867 we can expect once it breaks 1843.5 one can definitely remain long one can expect it to rise on the downside once it breaks 1827 at this zone you can try to take a short entry for 
एटीन एटीन एंड देन एटीन फिफ्टीन बिलो दैट वी विल सी एटीन जीरो सिक्स एंड सेवनटीन नाइन फाइव any breakout below 1795 will take it towards 1778 levels and beyond that 1760 can be seen but i don't expect that this is going to happen one can remain bullish on a uh, gold probable low at around 1827 or at worst at around 18 18 can be seen and from here if you see it dropping at 1818 18, you can in fact take a long entry there expect it to break 1843.5 and head towards 1855 at least probably so 1818 to 1855 this is the zone we are looking forward to or any in fact it can head till towards 1867 any move beyond 1867 is a plus you can definitely remain long now this is all let's move towards silver now silver on the daily charts you can see that this was the zone till 2340 i said beyond 2340 definitely it will give you a strong bullish move that is what has happened this is the consolidation zone and it has given a breakout beyond this this is on the daily charts three green candles the body size is reducing here and this uh, lowering body size and the you can see the long wick out there it is it indicated that the bulls are losing control and bears are trying to take a grip on uh, the silver's movement and that is what we had seen on the last candle where it tried to uh, where it refrained to go high and probably uh, closed with a drop now what it is trying to form is a pole and flag formation we might see a second red candle and a probable third red candle which might take it again till towards this zone at 23 uh, 60 which is going to be a very 2380 which is going to be a support zone and then 2340 which is going to be a strongest support zone so even if it drops till 2340 one can again expect it to rise but i don't expect that it is going to drop below 2380 this 2380 level should provide a support and from there we might see a good rise on silver again till towards 2460 and 2480 levels this is what it appears on the daily charts but now let's have a look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts you can find that uh, this is second consecutive green candle and now if you see the low is at around 2400 and the high is at around you can expect at least a uh, 25 Hundred levels and then twenty five fifty and twenty six hundred twenty should come into picture till here. However, this is the case when it is extremely bullish. We can still it can it might still get a support at around twenty three eighty. Below that, it might try to break towards twenty three sixty and forty. But till the time it remains about twenty three eighty and twenty four hundred, you can expect it to give a third bullish candle. But now let's have a look at another point of view here. how far it could go and where it should get its resistance now let's connect the dots here you can see this uh, near term uh, channel on the weekly charts you can clearly see this is the high which it is seen at around 2460 2470 levels now if it breaks this zone at 2480 then only we should consider this is a, a bullish reversal where the next target is around 2500 uh 50 levels and then 2600 plus plus can also be seen so any breakout beyond 2470 should be considered as a bullish reversal for and it might head towards 2550 levels and plus plus levels also so we have got a couple of observations here that on the nearer term charts on the weekly charts probably a third green candle may appear but the size of the candle may reduce which might keep it uh, or refrain it from achieving the highs and probably 2490 or 2470 should provide a resistance and it might trade in between this zone 2470 to uh, uh 2340 levels and probably if it breaks in fact the worst it could be at around 2340 in fact below that definitely it will trade bearish but yes this is what is appears on the weekly charts now let's have a look at the monthly charts on the monthly candle interestingly this is going to be the last trading week for the month and higher lows 
एंड सेकेंड कंजिक्यूटिव ग्रीन कैंडल Probably it might try to close somewhere here at around twenty four eighty to twenty five hundred, and from there onwards we will observe whether it is really bullish or it was a minor retracement for next monthly candle where it can head towards twenty six hundred plus plus levels. So appears that silver might give another bullish move, but uh, the nearest resistance at around twenty five hundred will come into picture. Probably it might try to hit twenty five hundred. and trade in between 2400 to 2500 zone and any breakout beyond 2500 will be a good indication that it is trying to achieve 2550 so a probable in fact a probable trading zone now is a uh, appear apparent that it can sustain above till the time it sustains above 2400 one can remain long and once it breaks 2470 the next target is directly towards 2595 2495 and 2550 levels so it can trade in between these levels it appears on the monthly charts now let's have a look at the indicators indicators on the daily charts you will find that now silver is trading above the all the moving averages above at the extremes of the bollinger bands at the extremes of the channels out there available on the indicators front now here this zone between 2300 to 2340 is extremely important any fall back between this zone is again an indication that silver is entering into a bearish zone till the time it remains above 2340 definitely one can expect that it is going to give a it or rather you can say it is just a minor retracement and probably it may reverse again from those levels so this is what it appears the detended price oscillator is green the directional movement is extremely wide and you can see the slope is uh, almost running parallel and hence indicating that this is strongly bullish right now however the macd lines the stochastic you can say or the kdj is almost trading in an overbought levels but it can sustain these levels for little long till the time it achieves 2500 and in fact 2550 and then probably it can drop from there is what it appears the macd lines are divergent and are running in a buy zone and indicative of extreme bullishness on silver and the rsi is now into an overbought levels on silver now let me give you some historical a uh, presentation there now see the time silver has moved into an overbought levels and we have seen a good fall and before that uh, it is hardly rare that we see the rsi going above 70 on silver now this is the time when rsi has entered into an overbought levels and we have seen a extreme fall on silver now considering this let me give you the levels directly so till the time it remains about 2400 it is a good buy for silver even if it might drop till towards 2380 but till 2380 2400 it can still reverse till the time it remains about 2400 my next target is towards 2470 the first resistance then 2495 the next target and then it will directly land towards 2550 levels so this breaking this 2620 is the next target but whether it could move that far or not i am skeptical that it is going to head till towards here but yes this can be possible this is definitely possible and till the time it remains about 2400 one can remain long on silver one can expect it to rise with a stop loss at 2380 once it drops below 2380 Once it drops below twenty three eighty, the nearest support will come into picture at twenty three fifty eight, and then towards twenty three forty. Once twenty three forty is taken, it will directly land towards twenty three twenty, and twenty three hundred. I don't expect that silver is going to drop so far. at worst even if it tries to drop at worst we could see at worst 2360 levels else it might trade between 2400 to 
uh, 24.95 and 25.50 levels we can expect it to trade in between these levels a probable rise can be seen on silver this week so you can take your positions accordingly trade accordingly reach out to me for any of your trading or training related queries my email ids and telegram ids mentioned in the description join my telegram channel and definitely it will help you in uh, in keeping yourself update about the market movements reach out to me my next batch is starting on first week of february and this mentorship session definitely helps you in becoming a proficient and efficient trader at least which will help you in preserving your capital and the strategies which i teach will make you an efficient trader so reach out to me and join the telegram channel thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead trading week ahead thank you